the, the base of, of most rubs that I do is essentially you want it to be half kosher salt and black pepper, and then any seasonings that you want to put okay. into it after that. In in Texas, which I, in my opinion is like the king, the barbecue capital of the world, a lot of places just do salt and pepper because uh -huh. they said the most important ingredient or spice of all is the smoke. Oh, oh the smoke. Mm. All right. So the next thing that you need to remember <laughs> is Carla's having a conversation with herself. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you say the most important ingredient is, I'm like, the meat. You're like, no, the smoke. <laughs> so when a lot of times when people hear the word rub, they think they're going to physically rub the seasoning into the meat. You, you, that's not actually what you do because that clogs up the pores of the meat, doesn't allow it to take on all that smoke and flavor. And I so, learned this from you, which was it makes all the difference in the world. So you, you make it rain from up high. And Carla, if you could give those a flip. And you're very liberal with the seasoning. And you go, same thing on the other side. Now, initially, when I first started doing a lot of barbecuing and smoking, I would season the night before. And because I with steaks, it works great. I don't, with barbecue I, now, I season at the last minute, and then I go right onto the grill. Because what happens is when you put this nice coarse rub on top that you don't rub in, when the smoke is wisping through the grill, the coarse rub is actually like catching the smoke and putting it in the meat. If it all sinks in, that doesn't happen. Oh. All right, so oh. now I have here on the chew set, we have an electric grill. We do not even have a gas grill. But to get the smoke flavor, and I have some uh, wood chips, I have apple fruit wood chips. We, you could soak them in a little bit of water. You wrap these in foil like this. And then you poke some holes oh. right in the foil so the smoke could escape. Now you put this on one side of the grill. So you get the wet. internal temp. Internal temp should be about 275 to 300 on the inside of the grill. But I go on the side that is not as hot, so it's almost like you're cooking off the heat a little bit, okay. indirect heat. The ribs go on. Meat side up, not bone side up. You close it. You maintain a temperature of 275 degrees for about three to four hours.